Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we're going to do an amateur career here. We're going to be hitting up Gigantica. We're going to Coe's Point. Hello and welcome to the That's menu That's the peg the I'm next... picking for today and uh, we're going to see. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get fudgies. So I got my 12 foot, um, my long range setup. I'm going to start the tournament by actually casting out pretty far. And just see what that brings us. So let's just, I'll show you guys what I'm fishing with here. I'm actually going to change it because I uh, just want to see. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the Banafee, the Hivis pop-up, and then the Imitation Snail, which is part of the Trophy uh, trophy Hunters DLC. Alright guys, so let's just see what uh, we get here. Just going to chuck it out as far as I can. I guess it went to the 115. 116. And the last one. And 114. Perfect. Now I'm going to take the spot rod and aim to get to around the 115 line, I guess. Let's see if 82% does it. And, okay, it's not 114. I'll take it, though. Oh, we got a bite already with the high vis. Let's just see what uh, this brings us here. Oh. Okay, we got multiple fish on the line. I think the order is two, one, three. We're probably gonna lose one of these fish, guys. That's okay. See if we can yank this guy in pretty quick. He's not that big. He's a mirror for sure. Let him take it. Okay, he came in pretty quick. 24 pounder, not bad. That'll put us in the lead for sure. Oh no, it didn't. Cool, we got George Cater ahead of us. So I'm gonna recast this. And then go for rod number one. And I'm um, assuming we're going to lose rod three, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I wonder. Okay, I want to see what kind of fish this is. Okay, he's not that big. I'm gonna just quickly see if I can drag this guy a lot closer. Don't usually like doing this, but whatever we have on rod one is it's not that big, so I just want to see if we can look at what's here.
see if we can get a visual on this guy. If he's bigger, then I'll just bring him in. Well, you know. Kind of hard to tell which one's bigger, actually. Let's go to the ban of fee real quick and then see if we can bring this guy back in. And then hopefully we don't lose what we have here on red number two. Oh, yeah, guys. That's what that's what happens when you don't got the patience. So now I would normally be recasting, but guys, I'm not worried at all. I just kind of want to make sure I don't lose this in case it is something amazing. Um, whatever I lost there wasn't that impressive, so I'm not too worried about it. I just I would love to catch fudgies, right, guys? So that's why I'm. I wanted to just get a visual on the size of fish. And, um, should have recast them, though. So we gotta jump on the next fish. But, uh, it's alright, guys. Maybe what I'll do is I'll bring this guy in. So we can look at him. Yeah, I mean, he's not huge, but that's a decent sized carp, so. Definitely not gonna get uh, too cocky with this one. It's been a while since I lost the carp like that. But I was getting pretty impatient there because. I wanted to make sure I got all three fish, and look what happened, I lost one, so... This one is definitely bigger than the one I lost, just visually, I'm pretty sure. Like, that's... There you go, that's 35 pound personal best on this lake. Since I started over, of course, guys. Uh, my personal best on the Xbox was uh, Northern Scaly, I just uploaded a video of that guy. He's 72 pounds. And yeah, he's, he was pretty cool, so. Let's just see what happens here. But either way, we're probably definitely going to win the tournament. No worries there. This is a good sign that it's, uh, this might be a nice one, guys. I mean, he's taking the line, and uh, he's triggering the exclamation at uh, 45 drag. It definitely means that it's something special. Could it be, guys? Do I have something special on the line? Is it what I hope it is? I mean, it took the line like freaking a lot of yards out.
I mean, guys, I must have cast it at thir 25, 30 yards or so. And it took it out all the way to like the 80 yard line. Now, that means that it's a big guy. Because a small. Oh, yes! That is huge! Could it be fudgies? Could it be? I, oh my god, that is huge! Is it fudgies? There's no way I'm gonna lose this fish, guys. I'm gonna be ultra conservative. I think I got fudgies. I'm getting way too excited. I gotta wait until I, until I bring them in. Wow, guys, this has been uh, quite the fight. I'm not going to take any chances. He's taking the line out again. This was with the high vis pop up, guys. Crank rig number two uh, with the 80 pound line, of course. Oh, I heard a click that freaked me out. Oh, my God, look at that. That is massive. Fudgies, finally. Yes. This is awesome, guys. So, guys, I was at Coast Point with the Hivis pop up, probably the 25, 30 yard line. Amazing. Just amazing. Yes, finally. This is uh, this is great, guys. I've been trying uh, to get fudgies for quite a bit here. I was actually playing without recording, just trying to get um, some TP, trying to get all my equipment back since I started over and all that. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy that I got him. I was trying to get him off of Alcatraz, but then I, I was reading some people had gotten him off of Coe's Point. And um, that's what I picked for this, and there you go, guys, with the high viz pop up. Yeah, 86 pounds, 5 ounces. Awesome. Just awesome. Wow, fudgies. That is pretty exciting, man. He had been eluding me since I started playing this game back in, uh, what was it, April? No. I think I started playing the game in, in late March. Probably did my first video in early April. Alright, the Hivis pop-up is absolutely crushing right now, guys. This is another nice size carp. Big belly. No fudgies, though. And yeah, I could tell, I mean, you know, he, he just took that line away, man. Just took it for yards and yards, and he was triggering the exclamation mark at uh, 45 drag, 43 drag. Usually most carp with this 80 pound line you're pretty safe to not break your line at the 50 so I fight him anyway let's see what we got here 
23 pound Maricarp. Not bad. Alright guys, let's see what we bring up on the Imitation Snail. Let's check it out here. Another leather carp, I believe. Man, I'm telling you, that high vis pop up right now is absolutely crushing it. The benefit's not doing as, as well as these other two, but they've all been uh, triggering some sort of fish, so that's great. see 27 pounds yeah that was pretty good leather carp we got a nice size fish right here guys this is a nice size fish too I'm pretty sure Another leather carp. Mirrors and leathers is what I've been getting today. Two and a half minutes to go, guys. Caught fudgies. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, okay. Here we go. We caught a 34-pound common carp. Man, Coast Point. It's got some uh, nice fish. Let's see what we bring in with the imitation snail. This is another nice size fish. It's triggering the beep a lot. Not to mention that it's actually taken my line. Having trouble bringing it in. It'd be awesome if we caught fudgies twice. That would be killer. But, I don't know if that happens. Alright, well hopefully this comes in we got to see what it is before the minute and a half runs out there it's starting to let me pull it back in which is good nice that is a that is a big car carp. It, it's not fudgies again, I don't think, but it's definitely a big belly boy. And I wonder if it's uh, some sort of trophy. Lots of lots of trophy carp in in, gigant in all these lakes where you go carp fishing. There's definitely no shortage of them. I just don't know that uh, we're going to be able to see this one, guys. His time is running out, and he is uh, a decent a decent size. Alright. Yeah, 
This might be a... Uh... He's cool looking, yeah. Starburst. There you go. 54 pounder. That's a nice one, man. That's, that's a really cool looking one. By the way, guys, if you hold the B button, you can uh, let go of your catch. I didn't know that. Someone pointed it out in the comment section. Really appreciate you guys pointing things out like that to me. Anyway, so there you go, guys. Two absolute beasts. Fudgies at 86 pounds with the high vis pop up. And Starburst at 54 pounds with the imitation snail. That's a number two crank rig, which is for gravel. And 80 pound line with the 12 foot uh, warrior from uh, Bait Shack Pro, I believe. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, that was awesome. I've been looking for fudgies for quite some time. I'm happy I finally caught them. You guys are the best. Hope everyone's staying safe. Take care.